everyone welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to do a top 10 outfits for christmas and new year videos so this is a video with kind of lots of dressy ish outfits but it ranges from like full on glam to more subtle kind of everyday going from kind of like i don't know your mum's house to a shindig that kind of thing so yeah hopefully there is a range that you can all kind of take inspiration from also some of the items in this are kind of mix and matchable uh, which i won't go too into depth with because i just think this video could end up being really long but there are definitely certain pieces like jeans for leather trousers bodies in certain places where there are other tops that kind of thing where you can really switch things up and there are probably more than 10 outfits that i could make they're probably double with all of the items in this but i just want to keep this short and sweet ish <laughs> When has a video of mine ever been short and sweet? I don't think that's happened since like 2013. Anyway, we're gonna get on with this. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Please let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments below. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with this first outfit because I am wearing it anyway. This outfit is one of those more kind of in the middle ones. It's definitely one that can take you from a more casual setting to a more dressy one. All you have to do is really switch up the shoes or the jewelry, that kind of thing. I've kept the jewelry pretty pared back for this look just because I think that the structure of this outfit is so dramatic that you don't really need too much going on with the earrings but if you were going to a more dressy kind of place actually you could really dress this up even more if you wanted to. The earrings are from the Amelia Liana and Skinny Dip collaboration. The top is from Topshop. I love this top it's so great i just love the structure of it it's really really beautiful i've also paired this with leather trousers instead of just a normal pair of skinny jeans if you wanted to casual this down more by all means whack it on with a pair of skinny jeans and i think it will work beautifully with a pair of skinny jeans you could also wear a pair of boots there are lots of pairs of boots in this video coming up that you could pair this with but i've just decided to pair the leather trousers with this pair of really simple black sandals from june these are very like bottega-esque with the square toe so i feel like they're really like clean and minimalist and it's quite a nice contrast really with that square toe to this very like flouncy I want to use the word flouncy I don't even know if is that an actual word in the dictionary whatever it's a nice contrast to the very like puffy flouncy kind of delicate sleeves and I really like that little bit of juxtaposition so yeah that is outfit number one jewelry will remain the same pretty much throughout this video so my rings are from Olivia Burton Zara and Versace and I will link everything in the info box. The thing I'm most likely to change up is my earrings and I will let you know where they are from as we go on. Okay so this next outfit is actually one I wore last year. There are quite a few outfits in this that some of you if you are long-term viewers will remember because my events wardrobe and kind of like dressy wardrobe doesn't really change very much. I have real staples in it that I live and breathe and i don't tend to add to it very very often i tend not to switch things up too often and tend not to need new things in it too often because everything is very very timeless this bodysuit included this is from zara and this is the main key piece for this outfit but it's also going to reappear later throughout this video i think this is like a key part of my going out wardrobe because i layer it under a lot of other things and sometimes i wear it and you won't even know it's there so yeah i just really love it it's a bodysuit it's like really thin and kind of fake silky weird material probably like polyester or something on the bottom but on the top it's this lovely velvet so yeah i'm wearing this black body from zara i've kept the same earrings as the look before and the same trousers i've switched up the boots these are very a very old pair of boots from pierre balman i think it's like a balman diffusion line and i really like the way the shoes kind of match my top half and then we've got this contrast of leather in between but we've got like velvet and this suede material on the bottom that are kind of like matching together and this is one of those outfits where i'm really letting the shoes do more of the talking but also i've decided to add a coat in with this one i'm not going to be doing this with every outfit because your girl doesn't have enough coats for that to be honest and i have a lot of coats but i don't have enough for a whole festive shebang but there is one coat that i love in particular at the moment for an evening out and it definitely adds more of a wintry kind of festive snuggly feel to things the coat is from misguided and it's just a really big fluffy white coat and i do think a fluffy white coat really adds like a sense of glam to an outfit the one thing i also want to note about this top is i know i'll get questions on this uh, because it's probably one of my most asked questions lately but um i know i'll get questions over what bra i would wear with this top um, and this is one that's great. I'm going to take my shoes off whilst I talk you through this, sorry. This one is great because you can kind of, depending on where your top kind of meets your trousers, you can kind of make it so the fold is more across if that is the vibe that you're going for. Sorry, I'll push you. Or one of the ways that I wore it last year was it was very open. So like 
down to here and that is like obviously when it's more across you can wear a bra with this and it's very easy but when it's more like open it's obviously a bit trickier to wear a bra and in that case i would say boob tape is your best friend i am a big fan of boob tape i have been for a very long time now i think for most of us it's something that we probably need even if it's just for like more aesthetics i think sometimes it just really helps to help everything sit slightly better so that's kind of mostly why i use it with this top just so everything sits slightly nicer but also i use it along the uh, seam and tape basically tape it down to my skin so i use some up here to kind of like hoist everything and then i use it along the seam as well to keep everything exactly where it should be and i can like lean forward and nothing is nothing everything is staying where it should be um so yeah i think a lot of people even if they don't say that they use it definitely use it when i look at pictures i'm like i do not understand if there is no boob tech i do not understand how everything is staying where it is so i think it's kind of like one of those like little secret things that lots of people use in lots of ways and i would definitely recommend something like this because otherwise like everything looks like it's staying right now but if i lean forward everything is out everything is out so uh that's just something i wanted to note before i moved on to the next outfit this next outfit i love it is really festive without being too over the top i think it's a perfect one for those kind of party situations where you don't know what everyone else is going to be wearing and you know you don't want to look too overdressed but you also still want to look festive and feel kind of nice and a little bit special i'd say it's one that's kind of nice for christmas day if you like to dress up but not go too glam i know lots of people spend christmas day in their pajamas and i am with you on that one but for those of you that don't that go to like family and you will kind of dress up have a nice party whatever even for christmas eve this is a lovely one the jumper which side note is currently covered in my hair and for that i apologize is from topshop and the skirt is also from topshop and the shoes again are the same shoes that i wore earlier from june and i've kept jewelry all the same uh, just because i feel like this is one that's definitely uh lends itself to being better the more simple you keep it oh the jumper i got in a size 10 and the skirt i also got in a size 10 but the skirt i would say is maybe slightly oversized like there's definitely a lot of room in it i could eat a whole christmas dinner in this and still like not be kind of like touching the seams so i would say if you want more room in it for eating your christmas dinner then go true to size and if you want more of a slim fit then size down also if you like this one and you want to dress it up a little bit more i would say a blazer would be the perfect kind of addition to this um also a long black coat if you have to wear a coat i would i think is just like really perfect and will really streamline everything and just tie in nicely with all the black and just let the skirt pop so this next outfit is the struggle to get on i would definitely recommend putting this on before doing your makeup because to get it on with this bun it's either like we're compromising the integrity of the makeup or the bun and <laughs> there's very minimal choice so either do your makeup and don't do your hair or i don't know just just put this on first basically because it is drugs it's elasticated at the back which is great but it does have a band around the top and that doesn't like there's a zip up the side but it doesn't go the whole way so you can't like completely open it up and then just do it up around yourself definitely something i thought i'd mention because when you're getting ready for a christmas party and you've just done your makeup there is nothing worse than putting on a top that then fucks everything up the unnecessary rage like actually in moments like that I feel like I should have anger management because it actually makes me so unnecessarily angry. But anyway, this outfit, despite the fact that it's very difficult to get into, is one of my favourites. It's very simple but really, really beautiful at the same time. It's all about the top and I just think that it's so gorgeous. And I've paired it with one of my favourite items ever, which are my black cigarette trousers from Topshop. These have been in my wardrobe for so many years now and I love the mixture of these two together. It's very smart, very dressy, but very sophisticated and just looks very cool together but it's still very minimal in terms of how much is going on i've also paired it with the misguided coat as well because i think this works really beautifully because there is like no shoulder kind of dressing going on it's one of those ones that you could kind of have falling off shoulder and it just looks really beautiful and quite elegant but really glam at the same time it's a whole look and i love that so much so so much i think this one might be my favorite don't tell the other out so this next outfit is definitely more of a marmite outfit i got a lot of shit the first time i wore this outfit and beyonce wore something just like it really recently so uh i'm gonna carry on wearing it for the rest of my life not that it wasn't anyway but just justified the fact that i love this outfit i really love it so we're wearing the zara body again and this time i've paired it with a zara kind of skirt that's also it's like a short skirt also a long skirt it's kind of like 
dip hem but not really like graduated at all it's got this extra layer and it just kind of falls i love wearing this with my glittery top shop boots and i think for this time of year this is like a really gorgeous festive outfit the outfit works great on its own if you're indoors you can wear a leather jacket if you want with it but my personal favorite way to wear it is with an oversized blazer my current blazer that is oversized is very oversized so just prepare yourself for that it's definitely i think the blazer makes it a very marmite type look but i really love this outfit it's one that is kind of it's like power dressing but it's also like glitzy and i just feel really special in it and i love it so i wanted to include it in this especially because although i wear it for other events it's definitely one that because of the boots it's very festive and i think you can get away with it this time of year okay this next outfit is another one that requires boob tape 100 if you have like a really pretty sparkly bra i would also say this would look really really cute like that but this is just a way of making a tailored kind of suit that you might already have in your wardrobe a little bit more sexy uh it's also a really great one for office to like party because obviously you could wear like a shirt whatever you would normally wear under your blazer underneath and then kind of whip it off and i do think this is definitely a little bit more daring definitely not everyone's cup of tea but i really love it but like i said this would need boob tape i'm currently out of boob tape so let's hope and pray for me in the cutaways that nothing goes wrong uh but yeah it's just really nice and simple and it's definitely one that you can dress up or dress down so you can add as much kind of like glitzy jewelry as you like you can add a really nice sparkly shoe to this i've gone for very plain shoes i'm currently on the hunt for the perfect sparkly shoe anything sparkly goes with this because you're basically dressing up uh, something very very plain so it's kind of working with a very blank canvas and i think that's really nice because we can all tailor it and go as far as we feel comfortable with so my suit is from zara if they still do it i will link it i'm sure they still do because it's just one of those very very basic items i'm sure it's from the basic range if i'm honest the bag is from west 22 all my like slouchy pouch bags are the shoes are the june ones and then my earrings which i think you will have seen in the previous clip these are an old pair i believe from asos but i love them and they're perfect for dressing up any outfit i'm crouching down because i've already put my heels on i'm <laughs> sorry i feel really awkward but this next outfit some of you will remember from last year i love this so much i really think you can't go wrong with a sequin dress when it comes to christmas this one that you could wear with like a simple heel like a strappy heel the june heels that i've been wearing already in this video so many boots like suede boots would look beautiful with this a nude shoe would look beautiful um i've gone for the glittery boots again just because i want to like give this a bit more wow factor because we've got some more like casual outfits coming up in this video so yeah that is that for this this is from zara it's quite old but i will link some similar ones and if they still have it in stock then i will also link it and the boots are the top shop glittery boots i've gone for minimal jewelry with this because i just feel like it didn't need any extra but i would keep it kind of simple like simple hoops very dainty delicate jewelry pieces like that if you're looking to go for any in particular and i'd probably go silver with this over gold to be honest like all my rings are gold but um, I'd probably switch it up and go with silver for this. So this next dress has a little bit of a wow factor to it, if I'm honest. I wasn't sure on this one at first, uh, mainly because it involves colour, let's be real. But I really wanted to include a silk slip dress in this edit, which isn't my black silk slip slow. Try saying that six times. Silk slip dress. You know what I'm talking about. I wear that dress religiously to death and you guys have seen it a lot and I just kind of felt like you know what there's probably since I'm going to be linking to a similar version anyway I'm going to pull a similar version to show you guys and I saw this and I couldn't resist the colour this colour is everywhere right now it was definitely my favourite I really love the cut of it I just think it's very 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 nice yeah i particularly love this dress this is from topshop so like i said my old black one was from topshop the style they're doing this year is slightly different where it has this asymmetric hem that falls it's really really beautiful this uh was basically their version of it this year and they come in loads of colors once again and this in particular was my favorite color and i've decided to not pair it with black you could pair it with black maybe i'll show you both but i also think this looks really beautiful with a nude accessory because of the green and it's kind of like that contrasting colors and i just think it's very soft and just looks really beautiful and it's very wintry without looking too evening and too formal and i really love that it also that way ties in really nicely with the white coat it all works either way whatever accessories i just think it's actually a very versatile color really because of that so yeah 
I love this dress in short. So the nude accessories, I've paired it with are a pair of YSL heels and uh, a West 22 kind of nude slouchy bag, the misguided coat, and for black accessories, it would be the June heels and then another West 22 bag. This next one is a personal favorite of mine. It is one that I can see myself wearing over and over time and time again, partly because you can wear it with the Zara body, but I just, you know, when you just try something on and you're like, I am 100% on this, like it feels like second skin. Like I love all of these outfits, I would wear all of them. I have no problem with wearing all of them, but this is one that, like I said, feels like second skin. It's glitzy, but it doesn't feel like, it just feels right. It just feels right. So yeah, I really love this one. The body, like I said, is from Zara. I've just teamed it with my um, Skinny Dip Amelia earrings again. And yeah, all the jewelry is the same. I kept it quite simple. This outfit also by the way looks bomb with like glam waves from kind of like chin length down if you have longer hair it looks great with a slick bun i think any my phone is ringing please hold we're back in the room uh, <laughs> i really hate when people ring me does anyone else get that anxiety like just please text me please leave a voicemail please stop calling me but anyway i'm gonna get into it the skirt is from top shop i've paired it with the june heels as normal like i just think it looks so great with these you could also do a strappy top shop heel i would also do these i'll pop a picture of those on screen as well i love those strappy top shop heels and i would have normally paired this skirt with those however i'm just missing a strap and it's very sad and uh, i'm just mourning the loss of that strap right now and contemplating whether to buy a new pair of shoes they also do them in a lower heel for those of you that aren't a big fan of heels i think those work really really nicely with this skirt so those are definitely an option as well black boots would also be a great option with this it's just a really really great super simple very easy outfit would work really nicely with a leather jacket but also any kind of coat this is just one of those really easy to wear outfits and i think you could wear it as well from office to like party in the evening it's just a really really great outfit for a number of different occasions well, quickly crouching again because i put my shoes on and forgot to intro this this next outfit is more about layering and more about going from a very casual scenario to something a little bit more festive but you don't really want to like change too many parts of the outfit and you also don't want to feel too festive really this is one for people that don't really do glitter or sparkle but it's just kind of like a nod it's that all about the shoe type situation but still looking very very pulled together so something for those that don't really love dressing up so much so we're going for a zara body this is partly for layering it's one of those moments where you want to have a nice top on underneath another layer but you don't really want to have too much going on this is just a really nice simple layer but that works with every other part of the outfit and makes it all look very streamlined and pulled together i've gone for a top shop pair of skinny jeans these are just super plain i think they're the sydney skinny jeans and then the top shop sparkly boots as well i'm pretty sure asos do a version of these i will link bits in the info box uh, for you to go and shop if you are interested in this because i don't think this shoe is something that everyone will have in their wardrobe but i think it's something that's definitely worth investing in because i've had these shoes for three years now and i just really really love them and they come out again every single year and then the jumper is from all saints but you can have any jumper you like really any jumper you feel comfortable in but this outfit is basically about having that kind of nice bit of knitwear a nice pair of jeans and then a really festive glitzy pair of shoes to kind of get you in the spirit but without having to really like push the boat out and without feeling too overdressed and you know it's one of those things where you're wearing a nice bit of knitwear but if you get a bit too hot the outfit underneath is still bomb as well and that is it for my top 10 festive outfits i really hope that was 10 because i kind of lost count uh, I hope that was then. anyway i really hope you guys have enjoyed this please like i said let me know which is your favorite in the comments below and i will see you guys again very very soon i'll put my blog my schedule on screen here because it's very here and there the shit you're still getting the same amount of videos just really really off schedule normally i like to do monday wednesday friday sunday but uh, my schedule is just not allowing for me to be home to upload on those days so this is what we are working with but i hope you're all enjoying vlogmas so far i'm gonna stop rambling now and i'm gonna go because this video is probably already long enough and i'll see you guys again very very soon in the next video that's there